Welcome to week one of Business 230. This is Intro to Business Statistics. Um, this week what we're going to be taking a look at is just some of the fundamentals, some of the basic definitions and key concepts that you'll need to know as we carry on through the rest of the course. Um, also, truthfully, it's going to be a pretty short video. There's not a ton of value add that I can provide to definitions and concepts. Most of it will just be guiding you as to where to find the content and where to read it yourself. Um, big thing though as we carry on with business statistics that I just want to note about this course, the amount of content that we actually have to cover in this semester is actually pretty small. That is, most of our time in a traditional semester is spent doing work, doing practice questions, and just that repetitive nature of doing the math, doing the question to make sure it really, it really sticks into you. So that being said, we will be having our short videos. Most of these videos as we carry on through the semester will be working through problems, working through examples. And the expectation, the idea there is that you attempt the problem, you put it on pause, and then you hit play and see, okay, did you get the same answer? Did you get a different answer? Where did you go wrong? And as I go through answering these problems, I'm not just going to do it silently. As I work through it, I'll give the tips and tricks, the little uh, hints along the way as to some best practices as to how to solve. How does this semester look, though? Uh, well, today, fundamentals. Today and this week will be just pretty much reading. I'll direct you to the textbook. I'll show you where to find that. As we carry on into subsequent weeks, though, the next week to two maybe even three weeks. Uh, we'll see. It's usually the next two weeks though. Next two weeks is pretty much just going to be review of your prerequisite courses. So really isn't going to be, well, shouldn't be any new material in the next two videos. It should just be review of concepts such as the mean, the mode, the median, standard deviation, variation, and different ways how to display data, graphs, and the like. One big difference that we're going to introduce this year being that it's online versus other previous years where we've been in the classroom is that we're going to introduce a Excel, an actual software component to this course. Traditionally, everything is done in the classroom. Everything is done pen and paper with a calculator. Given the nature of the course this year, we will introduce the Excel component here in 230. I will also an entirely optional and put together a few extra videos for another software package known as R. If you are interested in carrying on with stats, if you're interested in getting a little bit more serious with the analysis, R is more along the lines of the package you'd want to use. It has a steep learning curve, but once you get the basics of it, it's actually a lot easier to utilize than Excel. Again, once you get those basics, the uh, initial learning curve can be quite, quite daunting. Well, without further ado, let's uh, move on. I'll show you where to find the content for your readings for this first week. And we don't really need to think too much about these software packages just yet. So our textbook for this course, given that we are online, I just felt that it was easiest to use a online textbook. It's free. It's open access. Uh, you should be able to access it from pretty much anywhere. Uh, this here, this is openstacks.org, so that is openstacks as we have it here, that is stax.org. Uh, there is also that link to it through the D2L site, and I'll try to remember to put a link in the comments here, uh, the description of this video as well. Uh, what we want to do is to navigate to our actual textbook is we're going to jump to subjects and business. From here we are looking for introductory business statistics. So we'll click that and open that guy up. From here, here's our main summary page. Uh, you could download the PDF. If you want to use it on your smart device, you can download the app. You can also view it online. Um, for myself, I'm just going to view it online. Um, I'll also show you there are some other options. You could, if you have a Kindle, view it on the Kindle or you could order a print copy from them as well. I'm not sure what that delivery time looks like, however. Jumping to the online one though, where we're starting off, where we're starting off is this first chapter, sampling and data. So this chapter altogether has four components. 
really our big area of interest is going to be the first three. So 1.3, 1.2, and 1.3. Uh, 1.4 is important. I would recommend you skim through it, but you're not going to see big questions coming up from it. So essentially, I just know that you guys are like, sweet, that's one section I don't have to read. There's no questions. Yeah, no, I know. But if you're interested, it is actually a pretty decent section to have a quick skim through. I'd recommend it. As you're reading through these first three sections, you don't need to read them word for word. Big things we're looking at, I mean, your big objectives, your learning objectives for this week, definitions, and to differentiate your levels of measurement. So definitions, all these bolded words. As you go through this, really pay attention to the bolded words, really get those definitions down. These definitions will come back again and again through the entirety of the semester. They are keywords. They are the concepts that is expected that you have a grasp on. So as we go through, really make sure that you have these bolded words. At least you have an idea of what we mean when we talk about them. So there's, there's a few of them, right? Next section, data sampling and variation. Again, really, it's just more definitional. It's just more definitional. It talks a little bit, few examples here. Um, do, take a look at them. They're going to help you a bit with your D2L quizzes. Big part, really, as to what we're getting out of this is the definitions. Final thing we're going to take a look at is 1.3, our levels of measurement. In 1.3, we have four levels of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. This is probably one of the key things to take away from this chapter is our different levels of measurement and what is meant, what is maintained in each one. As we carry on through this course, different statistics necessitate different levels of measurement, or rather the other way around there, different levels of measurement necessitate different statistics. And so it becomes very important for us to be able to recognize from our data set what level of measurement we have and then from there, which statistics we would likely use. So this is probably the biggest aspect of this first week to actually go and look through. So that does it for that. Um, as we carry on, I'll post videos on how to access some um, of the online software. If you have any questions about any of these concepts, if you have any questions about any of these definitions or levels of measurement, feel free to post a comment in below and I can try to get back. Ideally though, comment on the D2L Frequently Asked Questions site, email me, or feel free to ask during office hours. Future videos, future videos, there's a lot more value added that I can provide in the way of what's going on. This case here, I can't really provide much value added beyond just reading the definition. So in the future, it will be a lot more working through specific examples, actually going through and lecturing what is happening.